Hundreds of Zoomers will be doing it until the wee hours all weekend here in Toronto. And I discovered it indeed takes two to tango. You're taking a big step, but your upper body is staying back. You want to make sure that you're projecting with the upper body as well. Okay. And make sure you face me, so we're always connected, yeah? Heart to heart. I'm taking Elizabeth Sandowska's instruction to heart during my tango lesson at Rhythm and Motion Dance Studio. She says many Zoomers, including herself, find tango pleasantly addictive. I think the magic lies in being completely present and in the moment and focused on the music and connected to your partner. And you can't really be thinking about anything else in, the, in that moment that you're having that three-minute conversation, dancing the tango with somebody. Meanwhile, back on the dance floor, I'm learning an important move. Forward, back, side to side. That helps you to uh, turn. If you're dancing with other people on the floor and somebody's in your way, you can always right. use that. This is good. I'm doing okay, but I'm not ready yet for this weekend's Toronto Tango Marathon with hundreds of accomplished dancers from all over North America. But there's hope for people like me. A beginner's tango intensive this weekend. Yeah, it's wonderful. A lot of people want to learn. I think it's probably been on their list for quite a while. <laughs> So we do it early in January before the uh, New Year's resolution go astray. For more information, visit torontotangomarathon.com.